we need to make a custom stamp so we can burn those initials into the leather. It's like almost like branding, uh, you know, an actual branding. We're going to use heat to brand it. So what we did was we printed out a sample of some different. I think we're going to go with this one. So we're going to utilize is we're going to use utilize this scrap piece of uh, brass that we had uh, from another project. Uh, you can see we got drilled a couple holes. This was this I didn't like the way the uh, the centering on the uh, mounting point was was off center. So so we're going to use it for this project. You know that's why I like to save some of this scrap. You know you never know when you're going to need it. So we're going to start by cutting out these letters. So this is how I decided to arrange the J's, make it a little bit different than just side by side or up on top of each other. I like the way that looks. It's almost like a link of a chain. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I like it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue. So we let this glue dry for a couple minutes. We're just going to line it up on here. Okay, so what we did now is we just put a little bit of glue on top. Okay, so you can, as you can see, this glue has dried. It's clear, we can see those letters. And we're going to start with our Dremel tool. We've got our Dremel light. Okay, this tool is perfect for this type of project. Okay, so we've got that set up in our our uh, drill clamp.
J, JJ, polished that out. Went down to uh, a thousand grit. Then we polished it, and uh, looks looks. Uh, I think it looks pretty damn good. Okay, so we've got our uh, our stamp. We bored a hole in the back deep as we can get okay uh, it's about three-eighths and so now what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this aluminum rod okay I've got like a, uh, an eight inch aluminum rod here for the handle uh, but it is half inch so we need to take that down so we'll be able to get it to uh, fit in there after which what we'll do is we will tap a hole in the side for a set screw. So the hole that we bored in the back is three centimeters deep. Okay, so we've got the line drawn there. We're going to use our Dremel tool and we're just going to make passes until we get to uh, a good fit. So the edge inside is beveled a little bit towards the bottom. So we're just going to bevel this just slightly so it'll, it'll bottom out. It's just slightly off. Okay, so we tapped the hole, put a set screw, attached it, polished it out. Yeah, this is ready to use. I've got the uh, the new branding iron in the hot coals. Okay, it's been sitting in those hot coals for a couple of minutes. Oh, beautiful. That came out really, really nice. Put that back in there. Very, very sharp edges. Really came out well. Very satisfied with that. All right, we're going to give that another try. We heated that up. Do multiple brands actually when you let it cool down a little bit it actually works a little bit better 